Breaking news just coming in amid rising uncertainty over Catalonia independence referendum, Spain has given a deadline till Thursday to Catalan leader to drop his demands. Catalonia leaders had earlier sought two months for initiating talks with Spain after the president of the autonomous Spanish region failed to clarify whether he has declared independence. Catalonia president Carles Puigdemont was to clarify today whether or not he has declared independence. The deadline was set by the Spanish government. This is the big breaking news we are tracking at this hour amid rising uncertainty over Catalonia independence referendum. Spain has given a deadline till Thursday to Catalan leader to drop his demands. Catalonia leaders had earlier sought two months for initiating talks with Spain after the president of the autonomous Spanish region failed to clarify whether he has declared independence. Catalonia president Carles Puigdemont was to clarify today whether or not he has declared independence. The deadline was set by the Spanish government. Joining us is Vion's senior foreign editor Padma Rao. Padma, what does this mean? Uh, just, just take us through uh, all of these developments. What, what are these uh, Catalans and the Spanish people up to? Well, the, the Catalans are backtracking quite obviously and Madrid is on the, fore, uh, for, uh, on the front foot as they say in cricket. Uh, they, this is, you know, the, the, initially the, the uh, Catalonians had said uh, that they will, uh, they, they, they did, uh, that the leader did indeed declare independence but then he put the piece of paper away uh, and said that he wanted to talk to Madrid first and uh, conduct negotiations on perhaps greater autonomy. But Madrid took the lead and pointed out that, uh, you know, any declaration of independence would be unlawful and unconstitutional and uh, the, uh, and therefore set a deadline uh, to declare that that piece of paper called uh, the independence which uh, Carlos Puigdemont had uh, you know demonstratively signed after so, uh, so to speak winning the referendum uh, was uh, put away and they Madrid wanted to make sure that that piece of paper does not exist anymore at all uh, because it pointed out to the unconstitutionality and said that if you declare independence and if you say that you really did that then we will have to move in remove your existing autonomy and practically take over something like president's rule uh, in india raghavendra so this is this this was the situation till this morning and the morning uh, was uh, this morning was the deadline original deadline uh, set by madrid and carlos puigdemont uh, since then has been on the back foot and uh, you know initially said didn't say anything at all left it quite uh, nebulous as to whether uh, the independence had been declared or not asked simply Asked for more time, uh, namely for two months, and uh, Madrid, uh, you know, again sensing a victory, has has moved in for the kill and uh, set a new fresh deadline of Thursday, uh, which is in three days from now. So, um, you know, the circle's closing in uh, on uh, Carlos Puigdemont and also on the Catalan uh, so-called independence movement, uh, and uh, we will be in for an interesting week ahead. Absolutely. And Padma, what is the behind the scenes story? Because uh, one day we see Catalonia wanting independence, then you, we see Puigdemont uh, almost backtracking. Uh, what, is, what is the kind of politics which is playing out behind the scenes? Indeed, you said it. You know, one day we saw this and on another day we saw something else. In fact, to tell the truth, uh, and one must be uh, frank about this, uh, you know, between 1975, uh, when the world saw the last of General Franco, who brutally suppressed the, uh, the Catalans, and 2005, that's well over 30 years, we, uh, the world never saw this kind of, uh, you know, the, this kind of demand for independence in Catalonia. Uh, because Catalonia was part of your, uh, Spain, Spain was part of the prosperous Europe. European Union. Now in 2005-2007, certainly there were talks for greater autonomy uh, because Catal uh, Catalonia is one of the richest regions in Spain and it wanted to see much of its revenues uh, that it earns kept within uh, the province. But uh, in 2006-2007 when the European crisis happened, when there was a recession, that's when Spain took the hardest hit and uh, also seems to have then from that point onwards begun to take many hits below the belt from Catalonia. Right. 
right. which suddenly decided it wanted to be independent. So, uh, you know, this, this independence, call for independence grew and swelled with a lot of international support, one must say. Don't forget that, you know, for some obscure reason, President Putin of Russia, or perhaps not so obscure reason, because he's not exactly in the best books of the European Union, and also President Maduro in Venezuela, both supported the call for independence in Catalonia, which is very ironical. Now, this is uh, what happened, and this is what led uh, to that call for independence. But, uh, you know, I think things have sobered down now. I think they're realizing uh, that the reality is different. Uh, they are very much part of Spain. Uh, they're very much under the jurisdiction of the Constitutional Court of, uh, of Spain. And, uh, you know, this is uh, just going to fizzle out into yet another call for talks and perhaps, you know, trying to squeeze a, an, a certain amount of greater autonomy uh, for Catalonia from Madrid.